What's up guys, this is Oli here bringing another Pokemon Nerd Wi-Fi battle. And this is the battle I had against Lulu1908. And uh, he asked for a UU match, so you know, he, he asked kind of how it worked. And he uh, told me he's bringing an illegal Dream World, but I allowed him because it's just a Sand Slash, because by the team preview you saw that it was a Sand Team. So I just allowed it, I'm like, you know why not, Sand Slash is cool. But anyway, let's start off with the battle. He's gonna lead off with the Popotas, as I'm gonna lead off with Rhyperior. I'm gonna go for the Earthquake to do, uh, you know, a good amount of damage as he goes for rocks. Now, at this time that the battle was taken, um, Hippowdon was in UU, not BL, so I was kinda wondering why he used the Popotas and not Hippowdon, but I guess he just wanted to be cool. So, I'm just gonna go for the rocks this turn, he's gonna get Toxic me, and I did not see the Toxic coming for some reason. Um, now I'm going to go into Alakazam because I know I'm not going to get affected by Toxic and Earthquake, I mean, won't do too much because it's a Hippopo Toxic, I mean, come on. So he's going to go into his Cavaliers, I'm going to go for the Psychic because Psychic is the best move I have to take on Hippopo Toss, obviously. But, I don't know why, like, I was, like, contemplating here of switching our state game because I'm like, is he going to pursue, is he not, is, Mega Ho is Focus Blast going to kill, and he pursues me. I always fall for Pursuit. Like, if you want to beat me, just use something with Pursuit, and I will lose. I swear to God. So now, I'm going to go into my Rhyperior, because I know I can take Bandit Pursuits all day, because, well, Pursuit is really weak. So, he's. I'm going to go over the Earthquake, and he's going to fodder out his Hippopotas, because he just set up Sand and then died, because that's the only use you're going to get from Hippopotas. So now he's going to switch out, go into Sand Slash... And I believe, oh yeah, he's going to go for the Earthquake and obviously outspeed because, well, with Sand Rush, yeah, it's just going to outspeed, it's fast now. And he does, you know, a lot, because Sand Slash has like base 100 attacks, so it's actually pretty powerful. And I'm going to go for the Earthquake and do a lot too, because, well, uh, Sand Slash doesn't uh, have a lot of, def I mean, it has a lot of defense, but he has no defensive investment since it's an offensive set. So he's going to kill out my Rhyperior, you know, Rhyperior did well, it set up rocks, it killed one poke, it damaged severely another one. And here I go into Heracross, because I know I can take an Earthquake from a Sand Slash since it's not very effective. But it does a lot of damage, I'm like, fuck, that's too much. So, I go for the Mega Horn, kill it off, I mean, I really should have offered the, bla to the two Blastoise there, but actually, like, judging this next turn, I wouldn't have. I shouldn't have. He goes into Cradilly, and I'm like, why do you do that? Megahorn is super effective. But I think he thought that Bug was resisted by Rock. But no, it's normal effective. So Rock and Grass, it's super effective, and I just knock it out in one hit. So I was like, yes, awesome. Now I'm going to switch out because I know Megahorn won't kill his Cavalier. And I'm going to fodder out my Yen Mega because Me Yen Mega was kind of useless right now. Like, I don't know. just uh, I mean, Specs Yen Mega is great, but it's just like it doesn't... It never does enough to kill for some reason. But he's going to knock me out with Megahorn because it's a bandit of Scavalier. It kills everything. And I'm going to go into my Heracross. It's going to close combat. And it's going, well, to easily kill it off, obviously. <laughs> I don't know why I keep saying this. I'm going to kill it off. And I, now, uh, if I'm not mistaken, he's going to go into his Duosion. And this basically spelled the beginning of the end for me. I'm going to go into my Snorlax, and I'm actually going to start setting up, because I can easily wall this Devotion because of my uh, max special defense, or almost max, I don't even know how much I have invested, but I know that this Snorlax has a lot of special defense invested, or all of it actually, so I'm just going to set up Curses. Now, I've never really used a Curse Tax before, so that's probably why I kind of misused it, but I don't know, I just, I don't know. But he's going to go for the second, and he does get the special defense drop, which really did matter. Because this Snorlax would have been taking hits so much more, and I could have just rested and pissed him off. But that's not what's going to happen. He's going to get the special defense drop, and then go for the hidden power fi fighting. And he I'm going to go for another curse here, where I really should have body slammed. I was like a plus two, and I think I'm a plus three now, where I'm a plus one. I mean, it doesn't matter. I should have body slammed here. After seeing the special defense drop, I should have body slammed. Because now... By setting up that uh, curse, I'm like, crap, I don't even know if I can live it anymore. But I do with 3 HP, which is great, and I'm going to body slam. But the thing is, if I would have went for 2 body slams, he would be like at red HP, basically. May I mean, maybe not, but I'm pretty sure he would be. So I'm going to go into my Blastoise. I don't know why the fuck I went in this thing. I mean, uh, Heracross live would live a uh, Stealth Rock switch in, and then it would just die off. So, I don't know what kind of crack I was on when this happened. Because, well, now this Duosion is, like, free to set up. 
since I obviously was stupid and didn't go into my hair cross, I guess I was fearing I couldn't live a stealth or switch, and that's why I went for the rapid spin. And then he has an Empoleon and the wings left, so maybe, uh, I don't know what I was thinking. I should have just went to hair cross, so, uh, kill the thing off, take sandstorm damage, I think I would still live, then switch out, and I would just kill the Empoleon. But that's not the case. I'm gonna have to go to my hair cross now, and here I was like thinking, I'm like, maybe he's gonna set up a combine to recover, I don't know. But he psychics, and that was the wrong turn to switch in, so I'm like, shit, it's basically over. And now I'm just going to have a stall war of scalding and hoping to get a crit, or I will lose. So I just keep scalding, he sets up, you know, he's probably going to get to like plus 6, I don't even know how high he got up to, he's just going to get really high. And Duosion has a massive special attack, I think it is the same as Reuniclus, uh, which is like 125 or 120. I'm almost positive it's the same as Reuniclus, but Reuniclus is just more bulky. But with Violet, I think Duosion is about the same. The thing is, Duosion doesn't get leftovers, which kind of hinders its ability to kill stuff. I mean, not kill stuff, um, take stuff, you know, like, take moves. I I'm not making any sense. <laughs> so this asshole just refuses to die, and he takes me, you know, takes me down to almost dead, if that makes any sense. I'm gonna go for the Scald here, my last Scald. And I do get the crit on this one. But the problem is it does not kill. I was like, no. And he kills me off with Psychic. And if I'm not mistaken, that's good game. So a good game, Lulu, 1908. It was a fun match. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this battle. It was kind of short. And the stall at the end was kind of annoying. But it was fun nonetheless. Anyway, uh, rate, comment, subscribe. And I will see you all later.